All right, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are back for the uh, second game here of the doubleheader between your Hazen Wildcats and the Blue Mountain Bucks. As always, I'm James Salvis on the call. We have Liz on tech. And, you know, should be a good one. Should be a good one here, you know. Um, you know, Wildcats kind of got shelled pretty bad in their first one, but should be able to uh, bounce back pretty easy here. First, I'll thank our sponsors. Buffalo, Mount, uh, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. Buffalo Mountain supports Hazen. And Sperry Lawn Care, 745-8336. When others can't cut it, they can. All right, we are about to get underway here, folks. From the Dan Hudson Field here on the campus of Hazen Union. I shouldn't really say campus. It's not a college, but <coughs> I guess on the high school campus of Hazen Union High School here in Hardwick, Vermont. As we are going to have Little Shopper, Ethan Shopland, to lead it off for the Wildcats. Ethan hit a monster home run in the first game. That one almost rolled into the trees, which I'm kind of glad it didn't because that would have been a ground rule double, and that would have been just no good. Did you hear the, seagull, or the seagulls, I guess, from uh, Nemo, as uh, Lance all liked to call them. Lance liked to call them. First pitch underway, and it's a strike to Little Shopper. As Evan Dennis, the man who started last game for the Blue, De uh, Blue Mountain Bucks, is going to be on the mound again. Oh, one count. He kicks and fires. That ball's hit hard on the ground. Oh, knocked down by the third baseman. Throw to first. He is safe. Little Shopper beats it. Throw kind of pulled him off the bag a little bit at first base after the bobble. So, folks, we got five innings for this one. Tyler Rivard to stand in now, face Dennis. No, Rivard hitting second. Wildcats, you know, normally would be in the field first because they're the home team, but doubleheader, so they're going to bat first. That ball is rocketed into left field. Good base hit off the bat of Tyler Rivard, and the Wildcats got something going early. Early action by the Wildcats, and now in stands the dangerous bat of Jaden Baker. As you see, the home plate umpire and the field umpire have switched from last game as usual during a doubleheader. Jaden stands in. That is driven over towards right. And that's going to drop in. Base hit. That's rolling. Spencer is going to send Shoplin home. Rivard home, too. Throw to the plate. He is safe. And the Wildcats are up 2 nothing early. The Wildcats changing things up in the batting order a little bit. And it looks like they're going to jump all over this Blue Mountain pitching early. And a three-bagger for Jaden Baker. He's going to get into third with a triple. And now that brings up Lyle Rooney to face Evan Dennis. Dennis kicks and delivers. That'll be a strike. Rooney watches the first one. That is fouled off the catcher, man. That one's got to sting a little bit. Although that's, like I said, that's why you wear the pads. 0-2 count to Rooney. Dennis from the windup. He kicks and delivers. 
That's going to be low for ball one. One, two now. Dennis is going to kick and deliver. Fires one over the plate. Rooney hits it into fair ground. Over to third. He will be out at first, but meanwhile, Jaden Baker is going to scoot home from third. An early 3 nothing lead for the Hazen Wildcats, who fall now to 8-4 and four on the year. Dropped their last two. Try to bounce it back as Aisha Gould now stands in. Hitting higher up in the lineup. Good to see you a little bit. Low for ball one by Dennis. 1-0 count to Gould, one out in the inning. Dennis kicks and delivers. Gould swings through it, one and one. Dennis kicks and fires. Gould watches one for a strike. One and two now to Gould. <sighs> Just low. I think Gould got lucky on that one, 2-2. Two, two. Dennis kicks and delivers. That is high for ball three. Full count now to Gould. That is fouled off by Gould. Gould, I thought he was hitting that thing over towards the coolers over there. Well, not coolers, I guess they're tubs. Three and two, here's the pitch. That is outside ball four, and Gould is gonna be on first base. Now that's going to bring up the Mahler, Andrew Menard. Ooh, high strike call, I think. 0-1 out of Menard. Menard calls time. Gets his sign from Coach Spencer Howard. Mitch Menard rips one up the middle. There's a hard base hit off the bat of Menard. That's down. Gould's in. Gould's going to go home. Menard's going to stop at second. And Gould comes all the way in to score. And Gould, nice rip by Andrew Menard, drives in a run, and it's 4 0 to the Wildcats, or 4 0 in favor of the Wildcats early. Dennis has been tagged early. That could be all she wrote. Coach on the way out to the mound for the Blue Devils. See, we're gonna have a mound visit. Still one out in the inning. Four nothing lead for the Hazen Wildcats. Top of the first. Wyatt Flanders to stand in now for the Wildcats. We're gonna stay with Dennis on the mound for Blue Mountain. Dennis is gonna kick and fire. Swing and a miss by Flanders. Flanders wanted that one. Swung for East Hardwick on that one. Ooh. 
He's going to watch the second pitch for a strike. Back to back strikes now from Dennis. Flanders has got to protect now anything close, and he's swinging. Kicks in. And Flanders goes down swinging. Better to go down swinging than looking, though, so at least he swung the bat. Now Fenton Meyer is going to stand in for the Hazen Wildcats. Kicks and fires. Little pop up to Dennis. And Dennis puts him away. We'll take a break, folks. We'll be right back. All right, folks, we're back. As... John Dennis is about to step in for the Blue Mountain Bucks. See balls coming in, which means we are about to get underway. Well, underway. We've already been underway. Underway. Underway in this part of the inning, I should say. John Dennis stepping in to face Andrew Menard, game two starting pitcher for the Hazen Wildcats. The Mahler Menard kicks and fires. That's in there for a strike. Good pitch by Andrew Menard. The bottom of the first. Menard kicks and delivers. Strike two, back-to-back -back strikes by Andrew Menard. Good pitch. Right on the outside corner, which is where Andrew likes to go with it. Manair kicks and fires. That's going to be high for ball one. That's low. Look good to me. Thought it was a strike. Ethan throws down to third because he thought it was strike three. 2-2. Two -two. Menard's going to kick and fire. That's driven out to center field. Baker makes his way over and he puts it away. Isaiah Baker, no troubles out there. Jaden. Jesus, guys, I'm sorry. I'm going to do this a little bit. Jaden out there in center, no problem. Although, like Lance said, he's sure Isaiah would have no problems making that play. As Evan Dennis steps in, one out in the inning, 4 nothing lead for the Hazen Wildcats in the bottom of the first. When I say one down, folks, I mean one out. Menard kicks and fires. That one's driven out towards center. Nice play out there and left by Wyatt Flanders. He's going to put it away. Two down in the inning. As Colin Punderson steps in now for the Blue Mountain Bucks. Lenard kicks and fires, and that's low for a ball. Look good on the corner, just a bit inside. Menard's going to kick and fire. That's going to be low. Good scoop by Shopland. Menard kicks and fires. That's hit hard on the ground. Rooney scoops it up, no problem. Throw over to Gould at first. And there go the Bucks down one, two, three. Take a second to thank our sponsors here. Today, you're watching Hazen Boys Varsity Baseball playing Blue Mountain Saturday, May 22nd, 2021. We are sponsored by Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. Buffalo Mountain supports Hazen. And Sperry Lawn Care, 745-8336. When others can't cut it, they can. HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable television. And www.hctv.us is where you can find this game and all of our other content. 
So, we step in between innings now, you know, see, saw some really good pitching from the Hazen Wildcats in the top, uh, bottom half of the inning. It's weird, normally, you know, I would say top half because they're the home team, but they hit first in this one as it's game two of the doubleheader as they look to keep the bats working as Tyson Davison is going to step in this inning, or to lead off the inning. So it's going to be top of the second. Yeah, they really don't change that scoreboard a lot. Takes them a little bit to change it. It's so like I said, Hazen bats. They're going to try and keep working as Tyson Davison steps in. As you see still, even in the second game, you know, this Hazen crowd remains large. And even Blue Mountain's got a pretty good fan base down there by the dugout. You know, a lot of people made the trip down with them. Dennis into his second inning of work. Dennis is going to kick and deliver. That is going to be low for a ball. Dennis wanted it. Dennis now kicks and delivers. That is hit hard down the third base or first base line, but that is foul. One-one count now to Davison. Dennis kicks and delivers. Davison fouls another one off to the right side over behind first. Dennis now kicks and fires. That's in there for strike three. Davison goes down looking. So one out to start the inning for the Hazen Wildcats. Ethan Choplin now to stand in. Little Shopper. Rocket at a single in his first at bat. That's inside for ball one. 1-0 one -oh count now to Shopland. That is low for ball two. Just a little low by Dennis. Going to be a 2-0 -oh count now to Shopland. Dennis kicks and delivers. That's outside ball three. 3-0 three -oh count now to Shopland. Here's the pitch. That is low ball four. Four straight balls. <clears throat> from Evan Dennis and Little Shopper is going to take first now here comes the big bat of T-Rex Tyler Rivard as Lance Hall likes to call him so I'll stick with it oh snap throw to first and Shopland is going to take second on the pass ball So the chirping begins by the Hazen Wildcats. Classic baseball chant. Dennis is going to kick and deliver. That's going to be a high ball to Tyler Rivard. Dennis kicks and fires. That's a high foul ball twisting over behind first. Oh, their first baseman almost makes a beautiful play over there behind first. He had to run a long way to get that one. I thought the right fielder was going to be there to make that play. But nonetheless, first baseman almost made it.
One one count now to Rivard. Dennis kicks and delivers. That's low for a ball and Shopland's gonna stay put at second. That ball does not get very far away. Two one now to Rivard. Pitch now from Dennis. That is low for a ball and it is gonna be a 3-1 count now to Tyler Rivard. Top of the second inning. And there is ball four. Top of the second inning, like I was just saying. Four nothing lead for the Hazen Wildcats. Two on and one out. As Jaden Baker steps in. There, got it right this time. <laughs> it's always whenever he makes a play out in center field that I call him his brother, that I call Jaden his brother's name. Isaiah has blonde hair too, so I don't really understand. Whew. Jaden was swinging for uh, positive pie on that one. So he got a hold of that one. It probably would have hit that big tree out there in center field. Double steal by the Wildcats. And Revard and Shopman both get in on the bad throw by the catcher. As it's... 2-1 now to Jaden Baker. Butcher the Baker, the home run maker. Hopefully the hit maker. Speaking of which, he hits it. Baker's gonna get a little trickling base hit back to the mound. That'll bring in a little shopper and the Wildcats are up five, nothing early. Lyle Rooney up at the plate now. Mound visit between the catcher and the pitcher. Runners at first and second, one down. Top of the second. Now we're gonna have a conference by the umpires. Not really sure what for. So runners are gonna remain at first and second. As I said, folks, I couldn't really hear the conversation, so I don't know what that was about. Lyle Rooney stands in now for the Hazen Wildcats. One out, top of the second. Kicks and fires. Low ball by Dennis. Dennis looks a little bit frustrated on the hill. one -oh count, Dennis kicks and fires. That's gonna be a high ball. Two zero pitch by Dennis is in there for a strike. Two one count now to Lyle Rooney. That is going to be low and ball three. Low and ball three to Lyle Rooney. 3-1 now. Oh. 
And that is a balk, as you see. He steps off the rubber, rubber and does not throw the ball to either the base and does not pitch. So a free base for Rivard and Baker. Dennis now to pitch. 3-1 count to Rooney. Dennis kicks and fires. Oof. A little bit of a high strike call. Full count now to Rooney. Dennis kicks and fires. That is low ball four. Rooney, I will give him about a seven on that bat on that bat throw. Threw that thing pretty hard. Over to his teammates. Now Aisha Gould stands in for the Hazen Wildcats. He drove in a run on his first A-B, I believe. That is outside for a ball. 1-0 to Gould. Gould squares to bunt with the bases loaded. Keeps it down for a strike. 1-1 one, one count now to Gould. Hi, ball two to Gould. <laughs> you hear the Hazen, uh, Hazen crowd getting behind, the Hazen teammates getting behind Gould there. That is a good pitch for a strike. 2-2 two -two count now to Gould. Dennis is gonna kick and deliver. That is outside for a ball. Really good eye there by Aisha Gould. Hard to lay off that pitch. Full count now. Dennis kicks and fires. Gould hits it hard foul down the third base line. Tell you, Gould has uh, played a pretty good game so far. I think he had a hit in his first at bat. He's made some plays over at first. Full count now. Dennis deals. Swing and a miss by Gould. Foul tipped into the catcher's mitt, and down he goes. So two outs now for Andrew the Mahler Menard, who stands in. Andrew Menard, like we said, you know, big, big power at the plate. Here's the pitch. Menard watches it for a strike. Good pitch there by Dennis. Dennis deals. That ball is fouled off by Menard. Oh and two now to Menard. Menard fouls that one back towards us. That is headed for the parking lot. That is headed towards Hazen Union. O2 now to Menard. Dennis deals, Menard pops it up. Dennis is gonna put it away. So, the Cats push across one more and make it a five nothing lead. We'll be right back, folks. All right, folks, we're back now. 
like I said, Hazen pushed across the run in the bottom half of the inning, top half of the inning, I should say. So it's a bottom of the second, five nothing lead for your Hazen Wildcats. Andrew Menard is gonna stay on the mound for the Hazen Wildcats. As Ryan Gardner about to step in for the Blue Mountain Bucks. Menard looking good so far on the mound. Ryan Gardner stands in now. Menard kicks and delivers. That is gonna be high, ball one. And that is gonna be ball two. Menard kicks and delivers. There it is, there is the strike he was looking for. 2-1 count now. Menard kicks and delivers, that's fouled back to the backstop. 2-2 count now. Menard is gonna kick and deal. That is smacked out to left field, but Flanders puts it away, no problem. One down now for the Wildcats. As Ethan Gilding stands in for the Blue Mountain Bucks. And to try and Locate number 10 on the lineup card. There's a good pitch for a strike by Andrew Menard. First pitch of the AB is a strike. Good pitch by Menard, but that's gonna be a ball. 1-1 one, one to Gilding. Menard kicks and delivers. Lays down a bunt. Menard's gonna get it. Fire to first, it's late and he's safe. Nobody was expecting the bunt there by Gilding and he just lays it down right to the pitcher. Menard just can't get to it in time. That happens, it's part of baseball. Now courtesy runner, Keegan Freegon, who was a courtesy runner in the same situation in the first game, it's gonna be a courtesy runner again. As now Lucas Welch stands in for the Blue Mountain Bucks. That is fouled back over behind first. Almost got up on the hill, thought it was going to. Oh one now to Welch. Menard steps off. Keeping him honest over there at first. Oh one now to Welch. Menard kicks and fires. And there's another one fouled. That one's gonna make it up on the hill. Almost a nice barehanded grab, but that's gonna skip into the parking lot. Menard kicks and delivers. 
That is just high for a ball. One and two now to Welch. Bernard kicks and fires, that's gonna be high. Ball two. Two two pitch. That is fouled off Shopland. See, Shopland's going to come out and talk to Menard. Count remains 2 2. All right, the conference on the mound is over. Welch is gonna step back in. For those of you that don't know, a mound visit is basically like baseball's timeout, <laughs> essentially. Just gives you a chance to take a quick break, talk things over real quick. 2-2 two -two count. Menard kicks and fires. That's hit hard on the ground to short. Rivard to second for one. On to first, he will be safe, although they were trying to get an interference call at first base. See Spencer Howard just wanted to confirm. He's gonna ask the first base umpire. Did get the out at second, I thought that was gonna be a 6-4-3 double play. But it is not, no interference call at first base. So he will be safe, but they will take the out at second. Again, bottom of the second. Five nothing Hazen Wildcat lead. As Hollis Munson stands in. There's a strike by Menard. Good pitch. Oh, two pitch from, or oh, one pitch from Menard. Now it's 0 oh 2. Beauty pitch by Andrew Menard. Menard kicks and fires. That's fouled back er, to the backstop. Oh and two, Menard kicks and fires. That is dug out of the dirt by Ethan Shoplin. Good pick. One two now. Here's the pitch. Hit hard on the ground. They tell Rivard to go to first, and he does. And the side is retired. Now I'll take a second to read our sponsors here. Hazen Boys Varsity Baseball playing Blue Mountain. It is Saturday, May 22nd, 2021. We are sponsored by Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. Buffalo Mountain supports Hazen. And Sperry Lawn Care, 745-8336. When others can't cut it, they can. Like we said in the first game, thank you very much to our sponsors, as a lot of the things would not be possible here without our sponsors. And once again, thank you to the Hazen community. You know, we appreciate all your support. Uh, really, you know, it's great to hear, you know, all the support from everybody in the community, you know, friends, players, family. 
whatever it is. We greatly appreciate it. As now we head to the top of the third inning. Wildcats up. Five zip. Dennis is going to stay on the mound for the Bucks. Dennis has pitched, he's pitched decent in this game for the Bucks. As you, we only saw him briefly in the first game, but then they decided they were going to go back to him in the second game, as I think that's why we only saw him briefly in the first game, because they were saving him for the second game when he was needed most. As a Wyatt Flanders is going to stand in now for the Hazen Wildcats. Here's the pitch. As Dennis fires a strike in there. Oh, one now to Flanders. Is that his hit high to third base? Gardner puts it away over there. No problem. As you see, Blue Mountain has different uniforms on this game. They don't have the jerseys with their last name. They might have the, uh, these might be the actual jerseys and maybe last game they had the warm-ups on. As a ball is in to Fenton Meyer. Lettuce kicks and delivers. Meyer fouls it back, 1-1 one, one count. Here's the pitch, Meyer squares to bunt. Oh, Meyer lays down a good bunt. And the first baseman can't make the play over there at first. It seemed like it was a good throw. The first baseman just couldn't handle it. Man, that stinks. Oh, good for us actually, but I know the feeling. The feeling must stink, dropping an easy one. As Tyson Davison stands in now. That's going to be a ball to Davison. As we mentioned in the first game, the Davisons, great, great athletes. Here at Hazen, if your last name's Davison, you play a sport, chances are you're a good athlete. 1 0 to Davison. Meyer was on the move and he is out at second. Thank gosh he's okay. He hit the bag a little bit weird there and kind of flipped over it. I've seen some pretty bad injuries happen by stepping on a base. So. <clears throat> one and one now. Pitch Davison hits a high pop up. Twisting over by second. And he puts it away, and that's going to end the inning. So we'll be right back, folks. All right, folks, welcome back. Tanner Winchester now to step in for the Blue Mountain Bucks. To face Andrew Menard. Top of the third. Like I said, only playing five in the second game as part of the doubleheader. Menard kicks and delivers. That is going to be high, ball one. one out -on now to Winchester. Menard kicks and fires. That's fouled to the backstop. One 
One one count now. Menard kicks and fires. Wow, that is hammered to left field. Flanders back on it. He will not get there. Winchester hit that one a country mile out to left field. Drove that ball pretty good. But Wyatt Flanders was right behind it to hold him to a double. That could be an inside the park home run for a lot of people. But Flanders was right on it. Holds him to a double. As Owen Murray stands in now. Menard kicks and fires. That is gonna be high, ball one. Seems to be a pattern for Menard in this game. First pitch seems to always be a little bit high. Menard kicks and fires. That one's driven out to the outfield and that is just gonna drop. Revard way to knock it down. Jaden Baker out there in center tried to get to that one. Couldn't get there quite in time, just drops in between uh, him. Drops between him and Fenton Meyer out there in right. On our kicks and fires, he squares to Bunt. Not in time, he is out at second. Great throw by a little shopper behind the plate. Gets him at second base and now there is one out. One, one. Menard kicks and delivers. That's gonna be low for a ball. One ball, one strike to John Dennis. I forgot to say that he stepped up to the plate. John Dennis batting now. Menard kicks and deals. That is a strike, good pitch there by Menard. Ball and two strikes now to John Dennis. Menard's gonna kick and fire. Whew, high in there, boy, that looked good. That looked like a real good pitch by Menard, but it's called a ball, 2-2. Kicks and delivers. That's gonna be high. Full count now to Dennis. That is a pop-up, or fly-out. Out there to Meyer in right field. He fires it all the way into Little Shopper. Good throw. A little bit right of the base. Two down now in the inning. Good catch by Fenton Meyer out there in right field. John Dennis is going to step to the plate with a runner at third and two outs. Bottom of the third inning. Top. Top. Maybe top of the third, bottom, bottom. Bottom of the third. Menard kicks and deals. Man, that was a good pitch. Could be just a bit outside, but that was a good pitch. One ball, no strikes now to Evan Dennis. Menard kicks and deals. It's gonna be low for a ball. And I believe they're gonna say this ball was out of play. So Tanner Winchester is gonna score from third. Yeah, Menard, you gotta, or er, Shoplin behind the plate's gotta scoop that back into play so that way that doesn't happen. 
Dennis rockets one out to center. Wow. That ball was hammered. Jaden's on that. Menard. Revard makes a good throw home. But Evan Dennis with an inside the park home run out there to center field. Ethan Shopland hit his in kind of a similar spot earlier, just a little bit more to left uh, center. As it is now a 5-2 game for the Hazen Wildcats. They still lead it. That ball was smoked out to center field. You see, that's the thing about Hazen. You know, there's no fence. If it goes in the trees in the air, it's an automatic home run. But on balls like that, you know, very deep into the outfield there, a lot of guys are going to get inside the park home runs. There's a strike by Menard. Two down in the inning, bottom of the third, 5-2 Wildcat lead. There's a fly ball. Meyer out there in right field, and he puts it away. Inning over. So after three, Wildcats lead at five to two. Take a second now, thank our sponsors. Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, Buffalo uh, 472-5522. Buffalo Mountain supports Hazen and Sperry Lawn Care, 745-8336. When others can't cut it, they can. HCTV channel 1080 on your cable network and streaming on the website and worldwide at www.hctv.us. We'll be right back, folks. And folks, we're back now. Little Shopper, Ethan Shopland, going to stand in to lead off the fourth for the Hazen Wildcats, who lead 5-2 to two in the second game here against the Blue Mountain Bucks. Evan Dennis is going to stay on the mound for the Blue Mountain Bucks. Besides that first inning, he's thrown pretty well. As there is a strike to Little Shopper. 0-1 now. Shoplin fouled right back to us. And that bounces off the tire of the Ford Explorer behind us. Good thing it hit the ground a couple times first, although never good when it hits a car. That dog wanted the ball, though, I can tell you that. 0-2. Shoplin smacks one right field. That is going to get down for a base hit just over the second baseman's head, but that'll do. Ethan Shoplin continues the hit parade today for the Wildcats. I believe he's 5-for-5 five five right now. Had three hits in the first game and two this game. So I believe Shopland is five for five on the day. The big bat of Tyler Rivard stands in now. Hits for power, pretty fast, good in the field. As there's a strike, Rivard watches the first one. Snap throw back to first and he's safe. Little Shopper dives back in there. Oh one pitch from Dennis. That is low for ball. 1-1 one, one now to Rivard. Rivard fouls it off over behind first. Ball and two strikes now to Rivard. Dennis kicks and fires. Hit and run on. 
Shoplin thought about going to third, but he's going to get back. Hit and run on. I guess this will be a sacrifice situation, so that'll work. As Jaden Baker stands in now. As you see, Dennis there steps off the mound, looks back to second, doesn't throw though. Dennis kicks and delivers. So that'll be a strike to Baker, a one. <sighs> Baker. Man, he swings hard at the plate. Pitch from Dennis. Baker hits that one high, that's twisting. Over by the dugout and their first baseman puts it away. Shopland in a pickle again, but he is gonna scoop back to second and be safe. For those of you who don't know what a pickle is, that is when the runner is caught between a base and the two people throw it back and forth trying to get the runner. It's not often you see a, uh, a batter get out of a pickle. It does happen sometimes. As now Lyle Rooney stands in. That is ripped up the middle. Base hit for Lyle Rooney. Little Shopper's digging around and he is going to be in easy standing. Another run across for the Hazen Wildcats as they now lead it. Six to two. Top of the fourth. Time. Evan Dennis wants a new ball on the mound. Aisha Gould stands in now for the Hazen Wildcats. High ball to Aisha Gould to start it. Dennis kicks and delivers. Inside ball for Gould. Two zero count now for Gould. There's a strike, that's a good pitch. Good take there by Gould, smart take. That is gonna be a ball. Three and one count now for Aisha Gould. The first baseman for the Hazen Wildcats. That is going to be high ball four. Good eye by Aisha Gould. Andrew the Mahler Menard stands in now for the Hazen Wildcats. Here's the pitch. Inside, ball one to Andrew Menard. Oh, 
Here's the pitch by Dennis. That's in there for a strike. 1-1 one, one now to Menard. Whew, Menard swang for the fences on that one. One and two now to Menard. One, two pitch. Menard watches it low for a ball. And Menard hits it. That's gonna get through. Rooney rounds third and he scores with ease. And the Hazen Wildcats are up seven to two. Rooney pumped up as he comes in. Nice base knock and an RBI for Andrew Menard. As the catcher Ethan Gilding is going to come out and have a talk with Evan Dennis. Try and calm his pitcher down a little bit. As I said, top of the fourth. Hazen Wildcats seven, Blue Mountain Bucks two. Gould at second, Menard at first. Two down, Flanders to the plate. Here's the pitch by Dennis. Outside for a ball. 0-1 now to Flanders. That is inside now to Flanders. 2-0. Dennis kicks and delivers. Ooh, high strike call there. 2-1 to Flanders. Flanders hits it, fair. Third baseman scoops it up, throw pulls him off the bag. That ball's out of play. One base for the runners. RBI for Wyatt Flanders. Aisha Gould comes in to score and it's eight to two for the Hazen Wildcats. Let me tell you folks, for those of you who watched the first game, this looks like a completely new Hazen Wildcats team here in the second game. But you know, that's how crazy baseball is. You know what I mean? Baseball, you can just, things change in a heartbeat in baseball. And you know, one game you could be, you know, not look so good, but the next game, you'd be really great. And that's what's happening right now for the Wildcats. Fenton Meyer stands in. Menard at third, Flanders at second. Here's the pitch from Dennis, that's high, ball one. Dennis kicks and fires. That is a strike in to Myers. Meyer. Dennis kicks and delivers. That is gonna be a ball to Meyer. Menard and Flanders gotta stay put though. Two one count, two outs. Top of the fourth, eight to two, Hazen Wildcat lead. Menard at third, Flanders at second. Dennis kicks and delivers. And Meyer rips one down the left field line. 
That might be two bases. Menard scores easy from third. And Flanders from second. Fenton Meyer slides into second with an RBI double. And the Hazen Wildcats are jumping all over the Blue Mountain Bucks right now. Let me tell you, Dennis has given up a lot of hard contact and that could be all she wrote for Evan Dennis. Like I said, folks, completely polar opposite Hazen Wildcat teams. First game they lose 13 to four. Now this one, they're up 10 to two. I told you that's just crazy how baseball works, folks. It's just crazy how one game you can go from not, ha not being so good to the next game you can go to playing really, really well and hitting the ball really, really well, which is something they struggled in the first game. Now there's gonna be a conference on the mound. Gonna be interested to see here if Blue Mountain sticks with Dennis. As now Fenton Meyer will be on at second with two down in the inning. Top of the fourth, 10-2, Hazen lead. I'll take a second and read our sponsors now. Hazen Boys Varsity Baseball playing Blue Mountain. It is Saturday, May 22nd, 2021. We are sponsored by Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. Buffalo Mountain supports Hazen. And Sperry Lawn Care, 745-8336. When others can't cut it, they can. HCTV, channel 1080 on your cable television. And streaming online at www.hctv.us. <laughs> so that is all she wrote for Evan Dennis on the mound today for the Blue Mountain Bucks. Allowed 10 runs through three and two thirds innings. As his brother, John Dennis on the pitch now. Dennis now warming up for the Bucks with two outs, top of the fourth inning. 10 2 lead for the Hazen Wildcats over the Blue Mountain Bucks. As you see, the other infielders for the Bucks going to conference, talk it over. Let's see what they got to do. Tyson Davison about to step in for the Hazen Wildcats. Wildcats have been hitting the cover off the baseball this inning and this game. John Dennis now up on the rubber getting ready to work as his brother Evan's day is done and he goes to shortstop. Tyson Davison in now for the Wildcats. Dennis is going to kick and fire. That is going to be high ball one. That is going to be high ball one to Tyson Davison. There's a strike to Tyson. One one now to Davison. 10 2, top of the fourth. Hazen leads. Meyer Toyan with him at second. High, ball two. 2-1 two count now to Davison. Shopland on deck. That ball is hit hard. 
Second baseman scoops it up. Davison with good speed, can't quite beat it out at first though. I thought he was safe at first. Davison couldn't quite beat it. Now we're gonna leave Davison at first and Meyer at third, just in case. Oh, and the umps overturn the call, he's safe at first. Tyson Davison, I was gonna say, I thought he beat it out at first base. Looked real close, a bang bang play over there. But they're gonna call him safe. And that brings up little shopper, Ethan Shoplin to the plate. Shoplin with a home run in his first game and went three for three, drove in all four runs for the Wildcats in the first game. And Shoplin off to a good start in this one, two for two. Putting him five for five on the day at the plate. Then a snap throw to first, almost gets Davison, but he's safe. Shoplin stands in, looking to add to his mashing that he's had at the plate today. Davison goes, and he is going to steal second base easy. And they're going to intentionally walk Ethan Shopland as he has just absolutely clobbered the Bucks pitching all day today. As I said, three for three in the first game with four RBIs and a home run. And in this game, he's two for two, and I believe he's drove in a run. As now big Tyler Revard steps to the plate with the bases drunk. <laughs> Dennis kicks and fires. High ball one to Tyler Revard. Shopland at first, Davison at second, Meyer at third. Revard at the plate. Revard hits a high towering foul ball back behind us here. That is going to hit the pavement, and that is down. Foul ball back behind home plate. Revard hit that one pretty hard. One one count now to Revard. Dennis kicks and delivers. Ooh, whoa, strike call to Revard. One and two now. Anything close, Revard's got to protect. Revard hard hit single through left field. That's going to get down. Meyer scores. Davison right behind him, and it is a 12-2 lead for the Hayes and Wildcats. Oh man, this game they have been all over the Blue Mountain Buck pitching. Now Jaden Baker to stand in for the Hayes and Wildcats. Two outs, top of the fourth, 12-2 lead for the Hayes and Wildcats. Dennis is going to kick and deliver, and Baker fouls one back. That one bounces right under a car. I'm telling you, we've had a couple close hits today. All one count now to Baker. Here's the pitch. Isaiah grounds one to third base. Scoops it up, throws to first, he's out. That'll do it. Head to the bottom of the inning. Hazen up 12 to two. We'll be right back, folks. And we're back, folks. Bottom of the fourth inning. 12 to two lead for the Hazen Wildcats. Oh boy, did they have a field day in the bottom half of the inning. Batting around the Blue Mountain Bucks pitching. Andrew Menard remains on the mound for the Hazen Wildcats. Ryan Gardner stands in for the Bucks. Menard kicks and delivers. 
There is a high fly ball over behind second. Rivard calls for it, and he puts it away. Quick out number one for Andrew Menard. On the mound. Menard pitching a good game again, but I don't think I could give Menard the player of the game in this one as Ethan Shopland has just had a whale of a game behind the plate, and he's hit the ball so well in both games. Although there's a lot of guys I could give it to in this game. So Ethan Gilding stands in. Ball outside by Menard. Menard kicks and fires. There's a strike. 1-1 one, one now to Gilding. Menard kicks and delivers. That is going to be a ball. It says 1-1 one, one on the scoreboard, but I believe it's a 2-1 count. Menard kicks and fires. That's inside for a ball. Three and one, but it says two and one on the scoreboard. Menard is gonna kick and fire. That's in there for a low. Oh, I guess it was only two and one. I was behind, now it's three and one. Oh, never mind. ball four, I was right. So courtesy runner as usual that has been for the first two games. Keegan Frigon is gonna run instead of Ethan Gilding. Lucas Welch stands in now for the Blue Mountain Bucks. Menard kicks, fires, high ball one. Andrew Menard. <laughs> 1 0 -oh count to Welch. Menard tries to pick off move to first, doesn't get him. Andrew Menard kicks and fires. That's high, ball two. Looked like it was going to break a little bit more at first. Didn't quite. 2-0 count now to Welch. Menard kicks and fires. There it is. 2-1 now. Good pitch there for a strike by Andrew Menard. Menard kicks and delivers. That's high for a ball. Three and one now to Lucas Welch. Menard trying to hang on here. Menard kicks and delivers. Fires it in there. That's a high pop foul. Shopland and underneath it, and Shopland makes a nice catch behind home plate to put it away. Ethan Shoplin continues to make plays in this game. Good hitting and good defense today by Shoplin. As Hollis Munson stands in for the Blue Mountain Bucks, two down in the inning, runner at first. Menard kicks and fires a strike. Andrew Menard with the beauty, right over the plate. Menard kicks and fires. That's in there, strike two, good pitch by Andrew Menard. <laughs> when 
Menard checks him at first. He kicks and fires. That's low for a ball. One, two. One ball, two strikes. Bottom of the fourth, 12-2 Wildcat lead. Two outs. Menard is gonna kick and deal. And swing and a miss, strike three. He tags him out. That'll do it. Bottom half of the inning, Menard gets him to strike out. Good work by Andrew Menard. Andrew Menard has pitched a beauty on the mound today for the Wildcats through four innings. Has looked excellent on the mound. As the Wildcats look to pile on some more runs today against the Blue Mountain Bucks. So we'll take a break, folks, and we'll be right back. All right, folks, we're back. Lyle Rooney stands in now for the Hazen Wildcats. John Dennis remains on the mound for the Blue Mountain Bucks. As the Hazen Wildcats try to pile on some more runs as they are currently up 12 to two, top of the fifth over the Blue Mountain Bucks. First pitch from Dennis is a ball inside to Rooney. Pitch from Dennis. Rooney drives one left field. That is down for a base hit. So Lyle Rooney starts the inning off with a base hit for the Hazen Wildcats. Aisha Gould steps in now for the Hazen Wildcats. No outs, top of the fifth, 12-2 Wildcats. Rooney at first. See the sun starting to peek out here just a little bit. And there's a high ball from Dennis. 1-0 count now to Gould. Dennis kicks and fires. That is a high strike call. One one count now to Asia Gould. That is low in the dirt. Ball two. Two one now to Gould. And Gould with a rocket out to center field, but it's caught by the center fielder. Center fielder out there with a nice play. Had to run a decent ways to put that one away. Looked like it was gonna be trouble in a gap shot. As now Dan DeGrosliers is going to step in. First pitch strike to DeGrosliers. And there's a strike to DeGrosliers, 0-2. Looks like Jaden Baker is warming up as he's gonna step to the mound in the bottom half of the inning. Rooney was on the move, but it's a foul ball. So he's got to head on back to first base. Go, 
0-2 count now to DeGrosliers. That's in the dirt. Rooney runs. Throw to second. He is safe in there. Close play at second, but they call Rooney safe. Tag just missed him. One ball and two strikes to DeGrosliers at the plate. Sorry if you guys are watching and I'm butchering his last name. So once again, like I said, Jaden Baker warming up as it looks like he's going to pitch it in the bottom half of the inning. There's a high pop-up over to first. He puts it away into Grosliers. Pops out to first base, two down. Rooney at second. 12-2 lead for the Wildcats, top of the fifth. Wyatt Flanders steps in now. Drove in a run his last AB. AB at bat. That is a ball to Flanders. Two and zero to Flanders. John Dennis struggling just like his brother on the mound. Pitching better than his brother though, not allowing quite as many hits and runs. Dennis kicks and fires. That's inside. Almost gets Flanders. Three and zero now. With Fenton Meyer on deck for the Wildcats. As there is a strike to Flanders, 3-0, and smart to take. Dennis kicks and delivers, Flanders swings and misses. Full count now, 3-2. and two. Dennis kicks and delivers. Flanders swings and misses. A drop third strike. Throw down to first. He got him. That'll do it for the top half of the inning. Now I'll take a second to thank our sponsors. Buffalo, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. Buffalo Mountain Supports Hazen. And Sperry Lawn Care, 745-8336. When others can't cut it, they can. On your cable channel, HCTV channel 1080, and streaming on the website, www.hctv.us. We will take a break, folks, and we will be right back. All right, folks, we're back. Jaden Baker on the pitch now for Andrew Menard. Menard's going to go to third base, Revard to short. Second base, I believe, is Tyson Davison, and Gould is first. First pitch from Baker. That's in there for a strike. Good pitch. Jaden Baker normally out in center field, but he's stepping to the mound now to try and shut things down for the Wildcats. There's a ball just outside by Jaden Baker. One and one count now to Witt. Winchester. Now it's one and two to Winchester. Tanner Winchester, who is up to the plate for the Blue Mountain Bucks. Two and one now. Baker kicks and delivers. That ball's hit hard. Rivard scoops it up. Ooh, fires over to first, and Gould can't make the play. Looked like Revard was going to have it. Scooped it up, threw it just a little bit too low, and Gould couldn't scoop it out at first base. So now Winchester is going to be at second with nobody out on the pass ball throwing error by Tyler Revard. Now Owen Murray steps up to the plate for the Blue Mountain Bucks. Baker is going to kick and deliver. 
That is a strike. Good pitch by Jaden Baker. Ooh, check swing. Well, they're going to call it a ball behind the plate. Check swing. I thought he went, but they're going to call it a ball. One and one. Baker kicks and delivers. Fires that one in there for a strike. One ball and two strikes now to Murray. Baker is going to kick and throw. High pop up. Shopland and underneath it. And Shopland puts it away. One out now. Two to go for the Hazen Wildcats. Sorry, that's Lyle Rooney out there in center field now who takes the place of Jaden Baker who went to the mound as Menard went to third. John Davis up to bat now for the Blue Mountain Bucks. one -oh now to Dennis. Baker kicks and fires. That's high, ball two. <laughs> Jaden Baker kicks and delivers. That is low, ball three. He's going to third, Shopland to lead it behind the plate. Welch moves up to third base. Or Winchester moves up to third base, I'm sorry. And now a walk to John Dennis. One out. Now Evan Dennis who rocketed an inside the park home run in his last at bat. Runners at first and third. Baker is going to kick and throw. Good pitch by Baker. Called a ball. I thought it looked like a strike. One out to Dennis. Here it comes. That's low ball two by Baker. Baker kicks and delivers. There's a strike by Isaiah Baker. Two and one to Evan Dennis. Jaden, I'm sorry. Sorry, folks, I keep calling Jaden Isaiah today. Uh, fake throw by Shoplin. Probably a good idea to hold on to it. Three balls and a strike now to Evan Dennis. Jaden's gonna try and work his way out of this. Baker kicks and delivers. Whew. That is a ball. Baker back to back walks. As Colin Punderson steps in now for the Blue Mountain Bucks. I think Baker got robbed on a couple strike calls on that last at bat, but that's all right. Now Baker's got the bases loaded, one down. That's in the dirt, ball one from Baker. Baker kicks and fires. There's a strike. See, I thought that was a little bit high, but he calls it a strike. One, one.
That is ripped. Ooh, almost a double play. Hard shot, line drive right at Rivard. Put the glove on it and fired over to third. Tried to fire to third to Menard, but Menard dropped it, and that would have been a double play to get him out of the inning, but he's safe at third. Two outs now, 12-2 lead for the Hazen Wildcats, bottom of the fifth. Baker trying to close things down for him. One out left to get. Baker kicks and delivers. That's low ball one. Good pitch from uh, Jaden Baker on the corner for a strike. Oof, that is fouled off Ethan Shoplin. Boy, that one's got to hurt. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Left in the ball game. Let's see what Baker comes up with for Ryan Gardner. <laughs> Baker is going to kick and deliver. He fires it in outside for a ball. Ball two. Baker kicks and fires low for a ball. Full count, three and two. Three and two, Jaden Baker. Much needed either strike or out right here. Baker fires. Hard hit ball on the ground. Rivard scoops it up. Goes to first, he got him. And that is the ball game, folks. I hope. Yep, that is the ball game, folks. The Hazen Wildcats taking game number two, 12 to two. I'm just gonna read our sponsors one more time. Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. Buffalo Mountain supports Hazen. And Sperry Lawn Care, 745-8336. When others can't cut it, they can. Thank you guys for tuning in. My player of the game today is Ethan Choplin. I'm James Salvis. We'll see you guys next time.